Sometimes bleeding edge technology doesn't really make sense at a glance. Uh, take for instance the ability to shoot 8K videos on the brand new Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. At this point in time, I'm pretty sure that most of us don't even have 4K TVs or monitors, so why on earth would we need a smartphone that can shoot 8K? Doesn't really make sense, right? Well, that's where you're wrong, because shooting in high resolution 8K isn't just about making 8K videos. In fact, it's quite common for creators to shoot at a higher resolution than their final product so that they have more flexibility when they edit it in post. Take this frame for example. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the chairs that are over here or this one that's sort of like sticking into my frame, but because this video is being shot on high resolution 8K on the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, I can just punch in and get all of those things out of my frame without losing any detail. But while that's cool and all, if you're a video nerd, don't think that the 8K video recording on the S20 Ultra isn't also useful if you're not a video nerd. Picture this, you're at your nephew's birthday party, or somewhere cooler, and you really want to document it for the gram, you know, getting those photos and videos, but nobody really wants to faff about with two separate devices and like, you know, taking turns and all that. That's just too much hassle. And that's where the 8K video snap on the S20 Ultra comes in handy. You're getting the best of both worlds, high resolution photo and high resolution video, and the process could not be simpler. Here's an example. Now, you're probably familiar with the jump shot, right? Traditionally, the way you wanna do it is set up a timer, use the burst shot, and try to match your jump with the smartphone camera, uh, all of that. But with the 8K video snap, all you need to do is shoot an 8K video and then go crazy with your jumps. After that, head into the gallery, find the 8K video and play it. Then you can scrub through the clip and find the perfect moment that you want and hit on the video snap button. Boom! Perfect jump shot. This also works with a variety of different clips, so get creative. And those are just some of the applications for this bleeding edge technology. And probably what is most impressive is actually how Samsung has managed to cram 8K video recording into a smartphone that looks like this. You see, Samsung's Galaxy S20 Ultra has easily one of the most advanced cameras on any smartphone. For starters, it has a quad camera setup, but what sets it apart is what each of those cameras are. So there is a 48 megapixel telephoto camera that enables the S20 Ultra's mind-boggling 100 times space zoom, a 12 megapixel ultrawide camera for those gorgeous landscapes, and there's also a depth vision camera that enables, among other things, beautiful portrait photos. But the star of the show is that 108 megapixel main camera. Yep, 108 megapixels. That's more resolution than most actual cameras. This means that you can capture a ton of detail, and that detail is the bedrock of being able to capture high resolution video. On top of that, this sensor is also really big for a smartphone, and big sensors are important when you want to capture low light photos. The bigger the sensor, the more light it can capture, the better your nighttime photos will look. Alongside this next gen camera system, the S20 Ultra is also just the most powerful smartphone that Samsung has made. It's powered by an octa-core Exynos 990 processor, 12 gigs of RAM, and 128 gigs of internal storage. There's also a large 5,000 milliamp hour battery to keep the lights on, and all the flagship features you could want, including wireless charging, IP68 dust and water resistance, stereo speakers, and a gorgeous dynamic AMOLED 2X display. So if you've been looking for the full package smartphone, the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra is probably your best bet. So learn more in the link in the video description. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and we will see you in the next one. Bye.